All right, Jeff's going to tell the story how we met. Go ahead, Jeff. We met in Maine. It was a military base up in uh, the top part of the, of the country. And it was like 10 feet of snow, and I didn't have a car, so I had to walk back and forth to get from one place to the next. And with the military, all the houses were like a mile long. So I'm, I'm walking down this deserted road, and about this time, two black guys come rolling up in this little Two black guys, I like Fiat. that. Yeah, well, he, he was all dressed up like a G.I. Joe. He had camis on, and a big old scruffy beard. And then he had a twin brother. And um, we ended up hooking up, playing basketball together. And his dad worked for my dad. They were both in the same squadron. And anyway, we started hanging out. And one time, the first time I went to meet his family, <laughs> he invited me over and said, hey, just come on over. I said, all right. So I walked to his house in the snow. And as soon as I knocked on his door, his mother answered, really, Calvin, there's a white boy here to see you. And they're like, who? Just send him to the back. And they're walking to the back like one of the house brothers and shit. <laughs> And uh, I get into the house, and the house was hot. His mother kept the house at like 90 degrees. He was, he was trying to break a sweat, and I'm like, God damn. You go up into his room, he's got the basic essentials. He's got a bed, a dresser, a TV, and a computer. That was it. To this day, you go to his house, he's got the same shit 25 years later. Never changed. Never changed. Ladies and gentlemen, that's how we met. That's true. <laughs>